the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, again we welcome you to Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut, where all of tonight's action is being brought to you by DeBella Entertainment in association with Turner Construction, Showtime, and Mel's Diesel Service of Lincoln, Nebraska, owned by Mel and Judy Isley. This bout is sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulations, Mark Brown, Chairman of the Mohegan Tribe. It is an IBF eliminator for the number two position in their world rankings. Introducing our judges scoring at ringside, Glenn Feldman, Clark Sammartino, and Don Trella. And our referee for this evening's bout, Steve Smoger. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Showbox main event of the evening. 12 rounds of action in the welterweight division. Presenting first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim. Weighing 147 pounds, his record stands at 17 wins, only one defeat, eight wins by knockout. Please welcome from Chicago, Illinois, David Estrada. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He wears black trunks with red trim and weighed 146 pounds. He enters the ring with a record of 19 wins, no losses, one draw, 12 big knockouts from Queens, New York City. Please welcome Chris the Mechanic. Smith! Chris? David, you were given your instructions at the weigh-in? Are you all set now? Are we all together? Yep. You were given your instructions at the weigh-in. Please, obey my commands, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, God bless. Thank you. These guys weighed in again at 9.45 this morning following IBF rules. Smith was 150, Estrada 156 and three quarters. Interesting, he's much bigger. As we look at the rules here, no three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. It's Smith and Estrada. We have been waiting for this one for a while and so have they. And now we're about to begin. Steve Smoker gets them started here at Mohegan Sun. They're both in black. With the gold piping is David Estrada. He will be aggressive. Angelo Dundee in the corner along with Luis Lagerman, a protege of Angelo Dundee, of course, a disciple really of him. But Dundee has stay supervised up, up, and Chris. told us flat stay out up. that Estrada is going to work behind that drab, and he's going to push Smith back, Steve. Well, the first thing you look for in the first round, which fighter pushes the other back, if there's consistency in that. That's critical. Secondly, Nick, we've seen more body punches in the first 15 seconds of this fight than we saw in the entire eight rounds of Kukau about. Good observation. Angelus. And that's what we saw so effectively from David Estrada and his victory over Nurhan Suleiman. Not afraid to go to the body, turning very nicely, showing good quickness. It's Chris Smith who wants to come forward. His right hand is his best. Who is working the jab? And it's Estrada out your hustling head. Watch your right head. now. Very early, but boy, it is a lightning quick pace as these welterweights are trading a minute into this fight. Well, I'll tell you. Who's pushing who back isn't really relevant because Estrada's getting pushed back, but he's landing the bigger shots. Yeah, such as that hook to the body. Now Smith trying to shorten up inside. Stay up. Estrada flurries back. Smith takes those shots on the gloves. Steve Smith sees pretty well. He is getting cracked, but now it's Estrada trying to pierce through that defense. Right found a home, and then that left hand gun. Steve, we said neither guy has home run power, but you can feel those shots. Uh, yeah, you can, and they come so often. And usually, volume punchers aren't big punchers. 
for the simple reason that you can't throw knockout punches if you're throwing 100 shots around. Your arms would fall off. <laughs> David Estrada, all we can say simply with the sparkling gold strike. Chris Smith and Jeff Black walks into some shots. Yeah, that was a big hook by Estrada after Smith came back with a mini rally. Here comes Estrada outworking Smith inside. Driving Smith back. Smith absorbing everything Estrada has. Estrada right down the middle with that right hand. Working off the jab. Now the hook as he fires away. Smith refuses the butt, Steve. Well, we said 100 punches around. No doubt Estrada. Believe me, I can tell without counting every punch. There's been 100 by Estrada in this round. <laughs> Steve, hey, we've asked him what he thought people? of Chris Smith, and essentially it's nothing. Chris Smith, I mean, uh, nothing. It doesn't impress me, you know, 19 and 0. So what? The last guy I fought was undefeated. I taught him how to lose, so I got to teach this guy how to lose, too. Are you crazy? <laughs> I fought a lot of guys off TV. You know, I took the took the long road to get here. You know, it wasn't easy to get here. So, I mean, if they want to say that, I mean, that's their business. But when we get into the ring, it's a totally different story. You know, I fought quality opposition. Back up in the middle. Right back up in the middle. There he is. Angelo Dundee has trained 15 world champions. And David Estrada trying to go to number two, IBF. Has really made a rapid rise in the last year, although he hasn't fought that much, Steve. Yeah, it's, well, he hasn't fought in quite a while Six since he was on now. so much. Yeah. You know what? If he wins this fight, because the IBF number two ranking is on the line, Estrada will be, I don't want to say as short of a title fight eventually, but who knows? Maybe he'll be in a position one day within a year or so of being number 16 for Angelo Dundee. Meantime, Chris Smith has a different plan. He's on the left right now, now pressing forward and connecting as Estrada tries to pull his way inside and fight inside. But it's Smith pushing Estrada back or trying. Estrada stands, holds his ground, now backs off. Smith digs that right to the body, then comes upstairs and cracks a combination. Smith revving up the offense. Estrada. Jabs have not been a big factor in it because they've been too close to land them. Now you see Estrada trying to do it there, but I'll never complain about that. You know, I always talk about the jabs, Steve, but boy, if they're firing big shots, that's okay. The uh, the experience with these two guys, you see, it's almost identical. How's the defense of both guys? It's very early, I know, but you know, guys winging 100 shots each around, you're gonna get hit. I tell you what, Smith got hit a lot in that first round. He likes to pick punches off, but with Estrada punching both to the body and the head, it's a lot harder to pick punches yeah. off. Trying to keep his elbows in as well. Now Smith absorbing a shot and backing up and firing that uppercut. Stepping back a little bit and putting that into motion. But Estrada trying to muscle Smith backwards. And you know, Estrada's getting pushed back at times. It's actually good for him because when he lands his big shots, he has full extension. You see there's a little bit of room between the two when Estrada punches. Smith, on the other hand, may be smothering his own power a little bit. You think so? Yeah, right now you see it. Oh, Estrada cracking back and Smith trying to not absorb any flush blows, but his hands were down and he wasn't punching back. So Estrada scoring big here in the second. Three, four, five shots from Estrada. Smith feels he's the harder puncher. So far we haven't seen it. David Estrada on the right. Smith rifles that lead right hand. Covers up, takes those shots on the gloves, on the elbows, but there gets hit with a right cross to the ribs. 
You gotta punch him up. Don't give him the first shot. Not working. All right, how are you feeling? Okay, well, he leaning in one side. So you gotta Actually, for round two, it started well for Smith, but Estrada came on. And look, he just seems to be able to get more leverage on his shots because he has more room to punch. He's creating that room because Smith is staying glued to him. Right. How are you feeling? Punching back. Well, yes, it is the third round here at Mahigan Sun. It's scheduled Watch for your 12, heads, guys. With Watch a your lot heads. On the line for David Estrada on the left, as well as Chris Smith. Chris Smith, they want him not to wait. Let this, his hands go, and he's doing it now as he picks up his pace dramatically. Estrada fighting back. Smith waiting, waiting, and getting tagged. I haven't seen much of it yet, but one thing about Estrada, he likes to switch hit and go southpaw. Haven't seen it, but then again, this isn't a boxing match. They've been squared up most of the way. He has not been, had, had an opportunity to do, go southpaw. Shouldn't, shouldn't face Smith if he does, because Chris Smith's last fight was against Dylan Peru, who is a southpaw. Right. Oh, as Smith walked into a right hand from Estrada and seemed to have lost his balance. Still punching back, but that took a little bit out of Chris Smith, it seems. Now he's leaning on Estrada. Smith knows how to, he's got some tricks, huh? He knows how to use his elbows a little bit. Steve Smoger, first class referee. Smoger is certainly letting them fight, and that's a good thing. There haven't really been very many clinches. I don't think there have been any clinches. That's been great. Estrada off the break with that left, and another left that penetrates as he fires those rocket left hands. Good point from Estrada. And Steve, you're right, he's been burying his attack nicely. Lead right hand back with a hook from Estrada. He resets, but has forgotten mostly about the jab. Now he'll try it. Overhand right as Estrada continues to crack. Variety in the punches from Estrada. Absolutely. Absolutely. From Smith. Estrada with that left hook that landed flush. Smith not finding a way to discourage Estrada in the least, Steve. Well, Nick, I, I, I thought from the start this would be a distance fight. It very well could be. And for that reason, I thought it would be one in the second half. But if Estrada builds up enough lead and beats Smith up enough, Smith may not have enough left to make any kind of oh, rally in the second point. half. We'll see. I mean, it's a long way to go. This is only three, and this is scheduled for 12. Oh, boy. Volume, pressure, and pace from David Estrada. All clearly on display here in the third. He has not backed off a bit. He's still not picking his shots. Nothing wild. It's very calculated, Steve, his attack. Continuing to move, turn, reset, reload. Oh, double hook from Estrada. has his hands full. You're starting to hurt this guy. You're hitting him with the hook real good. When anything you're doing wrong, you're not sliding right on the guy. Stay and off to the right. The jab. You hit, move to your right. Give me the wall. Now, now that we're fucking with those hooks, okay? You're working good with those hooks. So after the hook, now come on. Drop it to the body after the hook. Okay? Left hook, you blow left up ground. Because you backed up a couple times. Keep charging, you can't take the pressure. You keep backing up. Now you're hurting them with the hook. Keep switching like that, like that switch. You fuck them up, you know what I mean? Nice and smart, nice and smart. You be the boss. Back this way. 
shot and was in a position to counter. Yeah, really tight. Chris Smith walking forward. A little squared stay up. Stay up, Chris, stay up. Strata, the one backing up now. Again, it has to, the energy's got to be somewhat sapped from Estrada. He's in terrific shape, it looks like, but all the shots he has fired through four. Smith battling his way back at the end of the four. Good, 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 guys. Very good. Very good. Action from round four. You know what, Angelo Dundee said you're hurting them with the hook. Oh, I think uh, Strata was paying attention. And he's hurting them with the hook not only to the chin, not only to the liver, but to the middle of the belly as well. He's really versatile with that left hook. And he's getting full leverage on it. It's a little wide at times, but there's a lot more on it than anything from Smith's Come up, man. You got to stick <laughs> through the body a little bit more. Get that right. Hit him in the kidney with that right hand. And come back with the uppercut. Come on. You're doing good, David. You're doing Let's good. Let's go, David. 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 let us go this, has Smith won a round, and if not, what can he do differently to turn this around? Right now, Smith has not won a round. The last round might have been the closest, but Estrada had that big output early in the round. What can he do to turn it around? You know what? You better hope Estrada gets tired, because right now, Smith has no answer that doesn't have the power yeah, to turn this around. He's getting out guns, Steve. <laughs> and here comes a rapid-fire combination from David Estrada. We'll back off. Slip and now behind the jab. 
Oh, there's the jab. Smith getting hit flush to the face, and now body shot. Estrada with the right to the jaw. Failed to connect, but he's throwing everything at Chris Smith. Chris Smith in all in black, pressing forward, trying to make something happen, create some kind of an opening. You know, Nick, after Estrada looked lousy and losing a decision to DJ Smith on our air, he said, all he would say is, that wasn't me. And what did we say? We said, hey, another fighter who lost, making an excuse, right? You know what? He was telling the truth. That wasn't him because look how well he fought against Suleiman and look how well he's fighting tonight. Oh, boy, he's a different guy. The fifth of a scheduled 12-round welterweight battle, and we say battle. The only surprise, Steve, we knew they'd be throwing shots. A couple of things that Estrada has so much on his shots and that Smith has not had a real answer. And the reason for that is Estrada, but with his subtle movements on the inside, has created enough space that when he punches, he's getting full extension on his shots. Smith coming forward throughout, is smothering his own shots, not much on them. Boy, really haven't seen any kind of a power punch from Chris Smith, and his right hand is the best. But he's got. Estrada just fending him off, moving nicely. See Chris Smith make an adjustment and become a boxer? That's a good question. It's really not his style. You have to sweep some rounds that way. But he's got to get out of the way of David Estrada, who has made him pay repeatedly. Smith eats an uppercut. Estrada tried to follow with that right hand. Here comes Smith cracking back. Good combinations. They slug in the middle of the ring. And now it is a slug fest. Smith opens up. Maybe his best moments of the fight. Was it enough to steal the round? That is a very close round. Certainly the best round for Chris Smith. Get a couple of deep breaths, baby. That's how you fight. Deep this guy can't take it to the body. You hear me? A couple of deep breaths, baby. Step it up, baby. How are you this feeling? Yours. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, let me see you going to the body. Then you got twist up to the head. Ba 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 ba. Right hand. No. We body, got two I jab down, one jab down. Right hand over from this strong. In between. Hey, double jab, double jab up. Right hand down. Right hand in between. Like we've been walking with just now. And he cannot take a left uppercut. How oh, tempo on your right side? So let me see you digging the left uppercut. Jab right hand, left uppercut right hand. But stay in the body. Wow, Drink a little bit. Give it straight to Come on. his chest, please. You understand? Great. Well, Reginald Ford was maybe trying to build some confidence. I don't know how you could say David Estrada can't take a left uppercut. He hasn't been hit with one that I could see. Maybe. Hey, I agree. Maybe Smith, with his best uh, landing in terms of percentage there, his connect rate in the fifth round. They want Smith to jab. There's that right hand. And now it's Estrada in close. Backing off again. Smith getting much more aggressive here. Now he'll try that left hook to the body. So Smith with some rapid fire punching of his own. And out of the clinch with that left hook that landed. But Estrada is undeterred. His hands are down. He's looking for a big right hand. Both corners want their guys to work behind that jab. Estrada hasn't done it a lot this fight, but he has been terribly effective. There's that left hook as he doubles up beautifully. Smith tries the uppercut. There's the body. The real goes Estrada. Keep that, keep that. Smith to trap Estrada. Good idea, bad idea. Yeah, even, even these shots Smith is landing, there's no extension on him. It just seems like there's nothing behind him. Looks like Estrada may have taken some of that ground off, but now he comes back with a vengeance. Right hands from David Estrada. Smith can 
continues to forge ahead. And again, subtle lateral movement. Doesn't have to be a guy jumping up on down on his toes. Subtle one-step lateral movement from Estrada. It's done wonders for him offensively and defensively. Really nice. Smith unable to really hit Estrada flush as a result. Estrada switching up now out of the southpaw stance. Now he's back conventionally. Smith trying to draw a bead on him. Takes that Estrada left hook on the gloves. Partially blocks Estrada's right hand. Estrada slowing down ever big so much and justifiably so. It's Smith's opportunity, perhaps. Estrada rocket left hook. Double hook from Smith. Yeah, nice combination. All of a sudden, the last 10 seconds, we've seen a little more on fun Smith's punch. We got this. Down the pipe, baby. Hello, we got this for now. Let's take him out. Might be wishful thinking, but <laughs> really, Smith did have a credible sixth round. A good one, I thought. It. Looking at Angelo Dundee, Steve. If I ever saw a guy more in his element in life <laughs> doing anything, it's him. More than me at the racetrack? Well, maybe. <laughs> Two good jabs by Smith. So Smith looking sharper. Showing something new, huh? They don't want Estrada to back off an inch. He will never surrender around, but his work rate fell off there in the sixth. We're halfway home, Steve. How do you have it? I gave Smith the last two rounds. They were two close rounds. I have it 58-55. Excuse me, 58-56 uh, for uh, Estrada. the right. Now he's southpaw. Not looking as effective from the southpaw position. You know, Nick, a lot of times in fights where there are this many punches thrown, it's very hard to score. That was not the case in the first four rounds. Estrada clearly landed the harder, bigger shots. Yeah, he swept them to me. Yeah, five and six were close, though. Will Smith now happy to duke it out, but oh, he takes a lightning combination from Smith. And he's uh, from Estrada, and he's down. Five, six, seven, eight. Smith is there. I feel I walk through, baby. Come on. And just halfway through the seven, it was that cleanup shot, really, from Estrada. And now he is going to punish Smith and go for the kill. Smith with a lot in his, uh, not much left in his tank, and Estrada. Reloading Here, and don't firing punch, don't bullets. Punch. Step out, Davis. Second knockdown of Chris Smith's career. Oh, a hellacious right cross to the body. Smith backing up and in trouble. Nothing on his shots, no defense, nothing fight coming back, back from Chris back. Smith. He's in danger, as Steve Smoker says, fight back. Oh, he'll pull the plug on this. Oh, Estrada's got time. He's you really should finish neutral corner, here. neutral corner. Neutral corner, neutral mouthpiece corner. Mouthpiece is out. Big break. Your man's mouthpiece. Big break Your man's for mouthpiece. Smith. And it was Estrada's mouthpiece, so you can't accuse Smith of spitting out Absolutely. the piece to buy time. Chris Smith is revving himself up in the corner here, trying to juice himself back into this fight with under a half minute to go. And now it's Smith launching into this final desperate bid to get some attention and respect from David Estrada. Estrada howled on the hook, man. He really did. But Smith wiggled off, survived the knockdown, and losing a 10-8 round to slip dangerously behind in this fight. But he is still alive after seven. No! Where's Alessi? Mike, where's Alessi? Alessi! Sit him, sit him, sit him! Sit him, sit him, sit him, sit him! Let's go, let's go, Doc! Put it, put it, put it, let me go. Hey, guys! Sit him. Deep breathing. 
Deep breathe. How you feeling? Let's get to work. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this is what I want to hear. The doctor going to ask you some questions. I want you to answer them. Deep breathe, son. Deep breathe. Talk it up. Deep breathe. You're going to catch it coming at you now. I want to see the one, too. Deep breathe. Deep breathe. How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. All right. Where are we? In round seven of this fight, Chris Smith suffers the second knockdown of his career. It's a lot of shots. It's accumulation. Started out with a left right. He's already been hurt. And you saw really a three punch combination put him down. One, two. The right hand was the big shot. You saw Smith's head snap back. Hey, miracle that he finished this round. Very, look how hurt he was. That was no Put the piece knockdown. in his mouth. Put the piece in his mouth. The Time. doctor is in, was in the, uh, he's still right, in clear the corner, the corner right now. Let's it's go. Dr. Let's Anthony go. Wipe this up. Asking Chris Smith if he knew where he was. High defensive Wipe movement. this up. Wipe this up. Time in. Roll the clock. Well, he answered Mohegan's son. Watch out. That's where we hands are. up. Come on. Can Chris Smith go on? He was dazed and down in the seventh. David Estrada. Looking to finish him off. There is no question about this, Steve. Well, that's the question now. Does Estrada go for it? Or does he just try to put his punches together and sort of try for the same situation that got Smith in trouble in round seven? Well, Steve, how do you know when a guy is... You certainly know he's dazed. There he got clipped with a lead right and another right. Now Estrada's got his sense blood here. He's driving punches through. Smith soaking up too much punishment, it seems, but firing back as he seems to have gotten his legs uh, under him again. Well, Chris Smith's eyes look okay. They're not glazed. They were glazed earlier in the fight. In it into round number eight, and Estrada battles forward. He's on the right. He's had his man down in the last round, and he's comfortably ahead, we could say, we could assume, anyway. You know, it's funny, Nick. Estrada switches from south, from orthodox to southpaw. He says it's instinctive, but he's very good at it because he never gets caught in the middle, yet he's always in position when he switches to land his own shot. Smith coming forward. He's been the guy get, getting hurt. Oh, left hook from Estrada. Another left hook. Estrada trying to weave and maybe bob under some shots, but not showing Chris Smith much respect. No, he's not. And you know what? He doesn't need to because right now, Chris Smith can throw all the shots he wants. He doesn't have the clout, the power to, to throw anything to scare Estrada or to discourage Estrada. Boy, going in, we thought these two guys were pretty close in punching power. Has not been the case. Estrada's the much harder puncher tonight. Smith eats a right hand as they exchange. Estrada double hook, hands down. Trying to avoid shots simply by rolling under them. They just back off, but now a clubbing overhand right. Estrada winging shots. Lost a little zip on his punches, and why not? He's thrown so many. After eight, Chris Smith's going to need a knockout. Or a couple of knockdowns. I got to get more right done. Come, come. Put the I got the demo. Come on. Oh, God. You got to be pumping the right hand. You got to use the right hand more often, Chris. We ain't using it sufficient. I want to double the jab to the body right hand over. Chris, give me one thing and give me for the night. Push the jab in the body right hand over. Push the jab in the body right hand over. This is what I want to see. This is what I want to see. Deep breathe. How are you feeling? This guy. We need a knockout to now win. you got to show him your champion. It's left, baby. Stop. You got four fucking rounds left. That's all you got. You got 12 you minutes. Take a rest. You move around. Kim Fakes, you move around. Go Nothing wrong with that. Angela Dundee adamant as we were looking in a bo at Chris Smith's corner when we went back. Dundee Steve wants him to back this guy up and be more aggressive. 
basically, I think he's saying you can take him out. And as boxy, as fight fans at ringside, I love it. The fact that he wouldn't be asking him to back off, we wouldn't expect him to. And here we see Estrada fighting with that fire. And backing off is Chris Smith. Smith's just getting out gun. Booming right hands from Estrada. He's in close. Smith's corner, uh, honest with him, told him he needed a knockout to win. Even though there are four rounds to go, even if Smith sweeps the last four, wouldn't be enough on my card. I have to down five points. Smith walking forward and wa running into shots. But the clear instructions from Estrada's corner is back Smith up. Get him to back off. Take away any kind of momentum he may be gathering. Steve, how does Smith possibly catch a second wind? I don't really even think energy's the problem. I just don't see any power in his shots. Look at him walking forward. Staying close, but they, he hasn't landed more than three, four shots. As you can say, we're big punches. And you never go, no, you know, when we spoke to him yesterday, he clearly believed he was the bigger punch. And you, and you wonder about Estrada's chin. Well, Estrada's been down one time in his career. That was against Armando Velarde's, and it happened about 15 seconds into the fight. Clearly a flash knockdown, so he's got a good chin. And here comes Estrada with a rapid fire. Attack as he lands at will to the chin and face of Chris Smith. It's Smith valiantly pressing forward, hoping to create some kind of opening and get enormously lucky. He's got to keep punching to do it as they wrestle around inside a minute to go in the ninth. There's the elbow from Smith. There's the overhand right from Estrada. Estrada's hands just down, trying to weave around those shots. Very little regard for Smith as Smith runs into a right hand. Oh, nice body work from Estrada. Sweet. And you see him take two steps back, reload, and he's at a good distance to land his shots after taking those two steps back. Exactly, Steve. Smith for the flurry, but not much on any of those. Well done. Don't you back up. Amateur fight, baby, amateur fight. Don't you back up, you take it to the sun. Deep breath. Three rounds. We only got nine minutes, baby. Yeah, two more rounds. Point. Three more rounds, baby. And look, you got to keep those hands up. Every time you do it, drop your hands, you get hit. What's up with that, baby? Come on. You don't got him with every shot you're hitting him with. You're hurting him. You're hurting him all the time. When he leans. Action move from round right. nine. Estrada baby punches, and then he loads up. Very smart to change the pace of the speed of the punches. Just as Chris Smith got comfortable with those little baby shots, nothing to worry about. Boom. Big left hand. And the body shots, the left hook has been a constant for David Estrada from round one in this fight. Three right rounds, we gotta get it. Angie, let's go, Angie. <laughs> Smith just doesn't have an answer. He looks disconsolate in the corner. Continues to try, probe, find an opening, create something, but it just isn't happening. As David Estrada's had it basically his way, he had Chris Smith down in the seventh. When you think back, Nick, to that seventh round, would you have given Smith much of a chance of still being around here? No way. He would finish, didn't he? No way, yes, exactly. Steve Smoger was in his ear, and I really questioned whether he would even get up off his knee. Well, yeah, because he didn't get right up. He didn't look too good when he got up. And then, you know, the mouthpiece of Estrada came out. That may have saved Smith uh, from being stopped in that round. And the knockdown came in the last minute of the round. That helped him as well. Absolutely. Here comes Smith trying to launch some kind of an assault, putting punches together. Now it's Estrada. 
Letting his hands go. Not as much, yeah, not as much on Estrada's shots right now. He has slowed in this fight, but I felt it was very important for Estrada to get off to a lead. He did, and he got off to enough of a lead where Smith didn't have enough to come back at the last half of the fight. Right, and uncharacteristically for Smith, of course, playing such catch-up, this is a guy who systematically breaks a guy down. And Steve, a guy who looks as fresh, usually in the 10th round, as he does in the first. Let's see if Smith could somehow suck it up and find again that second win. Not, again, as you mentioned, as if it's going to do any good. Well, that's the thing. He needs a knockout. I say that knowing, of course, that we are not the official judges of this fight, as we're often reminded <laughs> by the judges themselves. Smith taking so much punishment, but in his face relatively unmarked. You said his eyes look pretty clear. He's certainly getting the worst of it repeatedly in this fight. As Estrada continues to land. Estrada, Nick, from the beginning of this fight has dictated the geography of the ring. He's the one stepping. Smith has only come forward. No, no other kind of movement, no side-to-side -side movement. He's never boxed from a distance. There you see him jabbing from a distance, but that's been rare. Right. Estrada's subtle movement has been very, very key. Oh, that was the best shot Chris Smith has thrown in. Half a dozen rounds of straight right hand to Estrada's face. Would seem to just wake up, David, a little bit more. As now he's firing combinations down the stretch and staring down for a strike. That's it, son, that's it. That's it, two more to go. Two more to go. Deep breathe, deep breathe, close the eyes. Deep breathe. How are you feeling? Yeah. All right, well, we got two more rounds for soccer, of course. You got to take him. These two rounds, I want you to beat him up. Take your time. Put on your foot. Turn your foot on your punches. You're just swinging your hand, turn it with your foot. I want to see the jab to body and right hand to head. Jab to body and right hand to head. This is what I want to see. Action from round 10. Smith has landed his share of shots, but very few as effective as that. Why was that left right so effective? He had a little bit of room to punch. He was able to extend his arm. Sammy, got the soaking up. Let's go, baby. Which is essentially, essentially what Reginald Ford, his trainer, just told him. Put them together, but you got to put some big shots together. Estrada looks clearly unfazed. Smith coming out with some vigor. He's on the right. Estrada avoiding shots and coming back, countering nicely. Boy, Steve, you're right. We talked about Steve Smoker not having to break these guys. He really has it. Even though they're both clearly getting drained. Well, it's to the fighters' credit that they haven't had to be broken. It's really to Smith's credit, because he was the one, especially in the first half of the fight, taking the punishment. But, you know, there's nothing worse than a referee, an overactive or overzealous referee, ruining a good fight. Smokers let these guys fight. Sure they've has. done it in a clean manner. Smith actually has never been. Well, yes, he was 12 rounds. Uh, probably one of his best wins. That's right. Yeah, family hurt. Smith is hurt. Here we see Estrada. Unloading some thunder here. He's got plenty of free shots. Very compact, picking them. Looking for the openings. There's a big right hand, and Steve Smoker has seen it all. Chris Smith finishes on his feet. I was watching. I was looking. I was looking. Too much. I was looking. Too much. Too much. I was looking. Too much. I was watching. Too many headshots. Steve Smoker's on the right thing, Steve. Chris Smith kept saying, I was looking, I was looking, I was seeing the shot. Yes! Right here! Yeah! Excuse me, man. Whatever. Hey. 
man. I think he said Chet Mosley, bro. He did out. say, Get right. Him Bring him on, right? The title you want Chet Mosley, you want the biggest money. You know, play it up, baby. Ah. So, Tony. A little coach here. Okay, you mouth piece out? Good, good, good. Good, get some deep breaths from me. Angelo Dundee, basically this is still an unfinished painting, David Estrada. Always back in the This guy in the other east is a stop. You stop. You took every other. Hey, good fight, man. Hey, good fight. Tough fight. Most respect, bro. Most respect. This is action from round seven. The one knockdown in the fight. The right hand of Estrada was right on the button. That's what brought it. But you know what? Estrada threw in combination the whole fight. Just like Sakoop Howell did in the first fight. He just it never one shot at a time. And I, Nick and I can't believe uh, that Chris Smith finished the round. And here's the end of the fight. It was a right and a left hook. Again, all in combination. And now Estrada knows he's going for it. Nothing to come back. The problem here is Chris Smith falls back to the ropes, never holds, doesn't punch back. You don't give the referee much of a choice when you're not holding or punching back. Even if Estrada doesn't land all these shots, Smoker's looking. He's looking for an excuse to let Smith keep going. That right hand was enough. Hey, Smith never held. He may have been seeing the punches, but if you don't hold and you don't punch back, the referee's going to stop the fight. Joe Antonacci makes it official. Boxing fans, your time. One minute and 11 seconds of the 11th round. Referee Steve Smoger halts the contest. Your winner by technical knockout, David Estrada. No doubt about this one. David How about Estrada. A big hand also a very he talked Chris. about Chris Smith showing him nothing, that perhaps this was just another fight, that he was clearly. Not a formidable opponent that he really had disdain or certainly didn't have a lot of respect, but clearly, Steve Farhood, this was an enormous win for David Estrada.